What's up, you two? Simply oh, the luckier. And today we're doing the epic, the amazing, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World Search for Exodia. And then I'm going to ask you guys to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Alright, so recently, you guys, I did a Structured Deck Merrick opening, and uh, you guys definitely thoroughly enjoyed that, as did I. And for that video, I mentioned... Um, I'd like to do a Structure Deck Showdown where we do the Structure Deck Merrick versus a different starter or Structure Deck. And in that video, you guys commented pretty much, it was very close between Joey and you, uh, Pegasus. So Joey and Pegasus Starter Decks, you guys. So I'm going to leave uh, two comments in the description below of this video. Like for Starter Deck Pegasus, like for Starter Deck Joey. And so whichever of those comments gets more likes... That will be the deck that we'll be battling against Structure Deck Merrick. Alright, so definitely check that out in the description below. Alright, let's get started. We haven't done it in a while. Search for Exodia. We will obliterate if we pull two pieces. So that's our kind of rule here. Two pieces are the head. So let's do this. These are getting harder and harder to find, by the way. Actually, here, let's read the back. The most powerful weapon in ancient Atlantis, the Seal of Orichalcos. It's finally here, the long-awaited card in the history of dueling, the Seal of Orichalcos, 100% tournament legal and ready to go into your deck. The Seal of Orichalcos was the most powerful card ever seen in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! TV series. Ever since Waking the Dragons episode, fans all over the world have wanted this card to become real. Alright, here it is in this box. Okay, so... I haven't read that for a while. Here we go, Legendary Collection through Yugi's World. Man, we should totally do a Worlds Collide again. That was pretty epic last time we did that. It was Joey's World versus Yugi's World. I'm always surprised that they still haven't made like a Legendary Collection Kaiba's World. These these had to have done super popular, and they must have sold pretty dang well since they remade them like twice or three times. I don't know why they didn't do a Kaiba's World. But yeah. Now I think about it. Is there a Blue Eyes in any of these Legendary Collections? Just the Legendary Collection, the original, right? Yeah. Intriguing how they have not done a Kaiba Legendary Collection. It's like, come on, Konami. Alright. We should send them a, send them a thing. What's it called? Where we all vote on it, or send them like an email. 10,000 people have asked that you guys do a Legendary Collection in Kaiba's world. Please do so in the next two months. Six months. Alright. Seal of Orichalcos. Here it is with Dark Knight Fear Guardian Iatos. That's the guy I keep forgetting. That's in uh, SOVR Secret First Edition. Five Headed Dragon, Token of Gores, Karibo. Woo! Set that up there. Thanks to our friends at Ultra. We are using the Legend of Zelda playmat uh, today. And we're going to be using our peach sleeves. Peach sleeves for our foils. Okay, you guys. Search for Rigzodia. Here we go. You guys want to obliterate? We gotta pull the head of Exodia, or uh, two two pieces. Sounds like it's easy, but it's not. Silent Swordsman level five. There's also a ton of awesome cards in here, you guys. If we can pull, actually pull it, that'd be nice. Uh, Silent Magician level eight, non spell casting. Two Mass Sorcerer. That's nice. Mind Control Ultra, and oh baby, a Secret Rare Mirror Force. That's very cool. And Balganian Super. Nice three foil cards there. Two Mass Sorcerer, good rare as well. Set those there. Spiritualism and Mystic Swordsman level 4. Okay. You know, we're going to go ahead and sleeve Mirror Force. I like Secret Rare Mirror Force. is pretty cool. Alright, you guys. Next Legendary Collection through Yugi's World Booster Pack. Um, like I said, ton of awesome cards in here. I believe you have Dark Magician Girl and Envoy of the Beginning. Chaos. Uh, Black Luster Soldier. And, yeah, let's see what we get. I know Joey's World has Regeki. I believe there's Harpy's Feather Duster in this one. Green Baboon Defender of the Forest, or was it the other one? Gamma the Magnumware, Blacklist of Ritual, Malice Doll of Dark Demise, Swords of Concealing Light, that's actually a pretty good Ultra, and Black Horn of Heaven, and Light Force Sword. Nice. Um, that trap card from uh, Stardust Overdrive that's been going up in value, the common one, it's pretty funny. I always forget the name of it, but either way, um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, people are like, why don't you just use Light Force Sword? Instead of that card. Mask of Restrict and Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. Um, I just thought that was pretty funny. Alright, you guys. Next pack here. Here we go. Mystic Swordsman level 2. Chain Destruction. Thousand Knives common. That's pretty sweet. If you control face-up Dark Magician, destroy 
One opponent's monster. Relinquish rare. Gravekeeper's guard. That's Merrick card. And oh baby, a Rygek is in both sets! What? Legendary Collection Yugi's World and Legendary Collection Joey's World. Well, I think we just might have got the most freaking uh, valuable card in the set. Oh, baby. I, I knew I confused myself for a second there, but wow. I cannot believe we got Raigeki. Oh, baby. What? This card loves me. It's because I use it in all the thumbnails. <laughs> oh, baby, man. Wow. Ooh, Dark Magic Attack. And, ooh, wow, best common in the set probably right there. Man, you have 10,000 hands. Holy guacamole, man. I cannot just, I cannot believe we just pulled Regeki. Totally forgot it was even in here. Wow, okay. Well, there's the value back for the this uh, Legendary Collection Yugi's World. Uh, actually, I'm not really sure what these things are worth anymore. They'll probably double every year here and out. Here and out. Uh, Dark Lord Zorado. Come on, you guys. Exodia, head of Exodia, so we can obliterate. DD Warrior Lady, Commandant, oh that's a Merrick card again, and Threatening Roar along with Magician's Circle. Ooh, we had a Solar Flare Dragon there, those Solar Balls, Solar Balls from our Booster Box Battles, if you guys haven't seen those, definitely check them out. Battle of Egypt, Emissary, Level Up, and Guardian Elma. Nice. Alright you guys, last pack of Destiny. We pulled a secret rare Regeki out of here. I don't even know where that came from. And I uh, got a Mirror Force over there. So we're definitely obliterating our opponent's field. We have all magic and traps. I think it's definitely time for us to pull a secret rare monster. Can we pull the head of Exodia for an obliteration? I'll also obliterate for Dark Magician Girl and Dark Palette. Here we go. It's time to get a secret rare monster. Dun 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 dun. Ta dun 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 dun. Yu Yu! Here we go. Horse of Black Flame Dragon level 6. Dark Snake Syndrome. Silver Fang Ultra Rare. It's another trap? Seriously? Man, what do we want? That's a trap. Um, crap. Black Horn of Heaven again. I was like, is it another Mirror Force? Ooh, we got a Chaos Sorcerer Super Rare. That's nice. Mystical Elf. The delicate elf that lacks offense but has a terrific defense backed by Mystical Power. Mirage Knight and Spellbinding Circle. Target one monster opponent controls that cannot attack or change the battle position. So, same thing as Nightmare Wheel. Just a little worse. Nice Dark Snake Syndrome. I always like the Horus cards. Still need to work on the Simply Lucky Collection for those. Alright, you guys. Man, that was epic. We got some epic cards. I can't believe we got all traps and one magic there for the secrets. That's pretty insane. So, for uh, cool rares, we did get a Toon Mass Source. I actually really like that. Um, cool pull there. And Ultras. Silver Fang. The Commandant. Merrick cards for our Merrick Structure Deck Battle. Once again, post in the comments. Not post in the comments below, you guys. Please. Well, you can post as well if you want, of course. But, uh, but if you can like the two comments below which Structure Deck or Star Deck you would prefer Structure Deck Merrick to battle against. Remember uh, to like those two comments below. Mind Control. Mind Control. Time Magic Swords of Concealing Light. Silver Fang, once again. Um, got that Seal Board Calculus chilling. Two Black Horns of Heaven. What does it mean to get two of those? What does it mean? Threatening Roar, Mirror Force. Um, Chaos Sorcerer, Magician Sword. We got some cool supers. Solar Solar Balls, Light Force Sword, Balganian. Chaos Sorcerer, sweet. And of course, the Almighty Raigeki. Wow. So awesome to see some of these different cards, you guys. And uh, yes, yeah, search for Exodia. I'm, I'm excited. I'm gonna be trying to do once one of these like every couple weeks. So um, I want to open Joey's Legendary World as well, and Legendary World, Legendary Collection Joey's, Joey's World. And then uh, I'm sure I just I want to keep a consistency with the different Legendary Collections because I feel like those are definitely very awesome to open just because the massive amount of reprints that are in those. Hence, once again, pulling a secret rare I get you from here is. Freaking incredible. Yeah, you guys. Stay tuned for more of those. And, of course, post in the comments below once again. Or please like those two comments to see uh, what Structured X Showdown we do against Merrick. And, as always, thanks for watching. And, hopefully, we can obliterate next time with uh, the Epic Exodia. And, uh, please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And, see you later. Oh, and a lucky signing in.